salty spirit. So yay, we're going to learn how to make these cute little oyster shell Santas. Um, you can definitely do this with kids, any age really, as you can tell, it's nothing um, you know that artistic, okay? Uh, but you're gonna need shells, oyster shells is what I use. I also, um, I have them drilled. I mean, I drill them. So this tutorial is not how to drill um, a shell, um, but you can drill them just like you would drill sea glass. And I have plenty of videos on how to drill sea glass. So you don't have to do this tutorial with a drilled shell. You don't have to make it into an ornament. It can just be a cute little oyster shell that you put out wherever. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, you're going to need shells. You're going to just need some red paint, some whatever color you're going to make for Santa's face. This is like a peachy color. And then just some black paint. And of course, whatever your... Um, your top coat is going to be to protect it, which I always use Mod Podge. Paintbrush, a glove, uh, you know, whatever. These are the hooks that I also have a tutorial for on another video. I will put that in the description or maybe it will pop up during the video. But um, join in. They're just so cute. And yeah, they sell so crazy when I have my shows and I also have them um, for sale on my Etsy shop. So, ho, 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 let's go. Okay, so um, depending on how many little Santa faces you're gonna make, um, for this one we're doing four, you're gonna, we're gonna do like a production line, so to speak, so it's just, it's just so much easier to do it that way and um, kind of time, you know, it saves time. So I'm going to line these little guys up. And the first thing you want to do, and again, you want to make sure that these shells are clean. The best way to do it is to just get some rubbing alcohol and paper towel. Um, I wouldn't use cotton. It tends to, you know, it's very rigid and like just little points and stuff might get caught there. So just a paper towel, uh, clean it up. Okay, so we're gonna start with the red paint. And what I always start with is the hat, okay? So seeing that you kind of want the face around here because you want a lot for the beard, a lot for the beard, okay? So, and again, mind you, you don't have to paint them white first because they're already white. If you have an oyster shell, that's like, you know, got brown and whatnot. I mean, that actually might look, again, kind of charming because it just shows that it is um, an oyster shell. So, uh, but if you really want to go for that white, then I would suggest just doing a coat or two of white paint, obviously letting it dry. Um, but these are pretty white. And again, there's some like little spots of brown. It's fine. I like the way that looks. So you want to visualize that this is the beard, okay? Um, this is kind of where the face is going to be, and it depends on how long you want that beard. So the face can be up here, but you have to also remember you've got to have a little hat. So I'm going to make a little red line where I want the hat to start. Okay, so now you can kind of visualize how that hat is going to look. And it just looks so crazy with every shape, each shape of a shell. It just looks like crazy, and I love it. Um, so you also, what I like to do is to leave a little area for his little pom-pom on his hat. So I'm going to just fill that in. Now this particular paint is very shiny. It is enamel. It's gloss enamel. doesn't matter. You can use acrylic, you can use matte, whatever it is, because we're going to end up glossing it at the end, whether you use a matte gloss <clears throat> or a glossy gloss. Okay, so I'm kind of, I'm going to just do a little outline of where I want that pom-pom to be. Okay. And you'll see how the white of the shell just plays with the design of Santa. Okay, like so. Okay. 
Okay, so <clears throat> you're gonna let, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna let that dry and then you're gonna put another coat on top of that. Continue on to the next one. Okay, so now you have the second coat on the red and the next thing that we're going to do is the face, okay, just the outline of the face and the fill of the face. <clears throat> so I have this kind of fleshy colored paint, peach, whatever, whatever color you wanna use for the face, that's up to you, okay, so Again, you kind of want to see where you are. Don't forget that the sides are his hair. And of course, the bottom is his beard. So I'm going to just kind of make, and I'm telling you people, I say this in every video where I do some kind of painting. I ain't an artist. I can't do this to save my life. So that's why I think it'd be really cute with kids as well, because it's such a simple design. It's up to you how big you want that face, what kind of a shape. Okay, um, I kind of make it just nice and round because that Santa's face is nice and round. Okay, so you also want to kind of a lot for that little, um, you know, fluffy part of his hat. Uh, not that we're going to be painting that in, but you want to leave that little space between the top of the face and the bottom of the hat to kind of give that illusion that there is... Um, that little like, you know, I don't know, what do you call it? That little bottom fluffy part of his hat. So again, let's speed this up. So before I do the fourth one, I wanna show you a little trick. You know how much I love decoupage. I always try and decoupage whenever I can. So. If you're not an artist like me and you can't do some like fancy, realistic shading of Santa's face, which is fine, what I do is I cheat a little. Um, I take a napkin, a Christmas napkin, where you can find a Santa face, which should be fairly easy. Unfortunately, this one has a little like flower sticking out in his face, but whatever, it'll be fine. So I cut out, according to what size the shell is, I cut out, a teeny tiny piece of his face. Notice how I did not include the red in his hat. Okay, just his little mustache, little smiley, and his, just a little tiny piece of his beard. And I kind of see how that's gonna fit there so that it meshes in with the rest of my thing. So again, it's a little cheap. I think it's really cute. Um, I've also done shells where I've just done the entire face and hat of Santa and put it on a shell and it looked great. But again, we're gonna just try this technique really quickly. So of course you want to get Mod Podge or glue and definitely do not uh, touch the red hat. I mean, unless it's totally dry that would be fine, but mine is not. So I'm just covering the white area. I am taking, I see again how I kind of make it look raggedy. I just like kind of pick around so it's not that stark line. So it just blends better. So what I do now, and you know what? I forgot my plastic, my plastic paper, but okay. So we're gonna place it wherever you think the face would look cute. Okay, There's, you should have a little plastic bag or saran wrap because that this way your fingers don't stick to it, but I'm just gonna tap it like that. The saran wrap definitely lets you smooth it out, but again, we're just gonna skip that part. If you have it, fantastic. Okay, so you have like an instant face and it looks really good because it has like the little shading in there, but we're gonna go to that next step for this one next. So you wanna also put a second coat of the face. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start um, to do the face. 
All right, and again, can't stress enough, this is like, you know, three or four year old children can do this. <laughs> so um, what I have done, what I find that works best is a toothpick because it's such a small little area to do the eyes and the nose. Um, I just do a couple of black dots for the eyes. And I'm going to do it so that I have some room above the eye so I can paint in some bushy eyebrows. And we'll do that um, after. <clears throat> and we're actually going to paint in a mustache because Santa has a mustache. Okay, two little black dots for his eyes. And then as far as the nose goes, I like a little pinky, pink nose. Now, if you have pink paint, fantastic. I actually don't. So I'm just going to get a dab of red and a dab of white. You need so little, so, so little. Because again, it's just gonna be a little button nose. Okay, and then I'm going to get the clean side of the toothpick, dab it into that pink. Like so, or you can do a red nose. That's, and that now also on the other Santa face that we did with the um, with the cutout napkin of the Santa face. What you want to do after that has dried is you want to just put <clears throat> a coat of oops a coat of the Mod Podge. So I'm not going to do that right now. But you're just and that's basically going to be it. You're just putting a little layer of that over the whole thing, let it dry, and you have your instant Santa. Okay, so we have the little eyes, we have the little pink nose, we're going to let that dry. Okay, so actually, um, now we want to do the mustache. I think I said that was the last thing to do, but actually, you want to do the mustache before the mouth. Again, the mouth is going to be only like this tiny little black or red line. Um, or you don't even need to do a mouth. Um, I just, I love when it's just, you can't see the mouth. I don't know. But here are a couple of ways you can do this. You can just, um, I probably should have a skinnier tooth, uh, paintbrush, but this should work fine. I'm just painting a big, like an upside down C. If you can see that. Come on, zoom. I think that's kind of cute okay and again you want to go over it a couple of times you want to let it dry a little bit and then do another another coat um so the others what you can also do is maybe on one of them you can do like a little handlebar again should probably have a thinner brush but this works okay How oh, cute. Maybe a little, a little touch of his beard going up there. And this one, I'll just do the same thing. Big upside down C. And don't forget, these aren't, this isn't, you know, you're not painting on a flat piece of paper or flat canvas. It's a very groovy bumpy shell so it's not supposed to look perfect that's the way I get away with saying that I stink at painting so now as far as the mouth goes like I said you can just leave it you don't need a mouth but if you want to and again you should actually wait until it dries and then just do another little um another layer of the white, but I'm just going to show you for time's sake that um, you can do a little red mouth, you can do a little pink mouth. I am just doing a little black, little. Okay, 
And I'm also just gonna show you how to do the little eyebrows on top. Again, this is, we're talking like simple little dab. Okay, up to you how you, how bushy you want those eyebrows. I just do a little dab. Like so. You can do a unibrow. <laughs> That's fine also. I'm not doing a unibrow, okay? You can do like a surprised Santa, whatever. I just like good old fashioned bushy white eyebrows. And again, you wanna kinda, you just wanna let that dry and maybe just do one more coat to make sure you can really see that. This one's a little bit smaller. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. Okay, so these are all dry and we are ready to put um, whatever sealer you have is fine. Gloss, matte, whatever it is. I use, I use Mod Podge for everything. I use it as glue. I use it as a gloss uh, sealer coat. So that's what we're gonna do now. Everything is dry, bone dry. And we are just covering the entire surface for protection because this absolutely will chip, okay? And then once again, once this is dry, uh, feel free to add another coat just for that added protection, but you don't have to. And even though this goes on milky looking, it absolutely dries clear. Okay, so I did a few different ways of stringing these. So with the hole that I had drilled, it was, um, I mean, it wasn't a huge hole, but I get it. That depends on, on how you drill your shell. If you drill it, you don't have to, uh, but if you wanna make it into a hanging ornament. So um, I just used like a thin jute twine. It's like a thread. Um, you could use thread or a very thin ribbon. It's just, I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's, I just threaded it in, knotted it, and then knotted it on top so it could hang. Um, I also used my fancy hooks, which I have a video on how to make, um, how to make them, which I, I just love them. They're, they're so pretty. So I just used that. I used a piece of jute twine and I made a little knot and then I just threaded the hook. And again, you can use any hook like so, and they're nice and shiny. And again, you don't have to use shiny. You can use matte. And here, this one came out. And here we go. There it is. Very cute. Thanks for watching.